What's up YouTube, this is Frank Nitty here, here to recap the Packers defeating the San Diego Chargers today. <coughs> Score was 27-20 to 20, I believe, right? Yeah. Um, let's talk about this game, man. Uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I want to say. I mean, I, I'm, I'm starting this video up and I don't even have a smile on my face because I'm just so disappointed with how we played in this game. Uh, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's a win. We won. Uh, great play at the end by Demarius Randall by tipping that ball away. But holy fuck, just watching the game come down to it like that was just gut wrenching to say the least. All right. I mean, Tom Montgomery goes down and we just get even thinner at wide receiver. Is it? Is it? We can't get any more thinner. You know. The, the, we got we got the best quarterback in the NFL on our team, and he just just keeps losing weapons on the offensive side of the ball. Our wide receivers just for some reason just cannot stay healthy this season. And I saw a tweet where they were talking about how Joy Nelson is out with an ACL injury for the year. Devontae Adams is, has missed his third straight game with an ankle injury. Randall Cobb and James Jones are playing hurt apparently. And then Tom Montgomery just went down with also an ankle injury, which looked like it was a knee injury, but it was an ankle injury also. And even Andy Lacey's been trying to play on an ankle injury. So we are just so thin on the offensive side of the ball, and it's just killing us right now, man. It's killing us. You you, you might say maybe it's not because we're still 6-0, but the more guys keep going down like this, the less high-powered our offense attack is going to be. You know, and I'm just so sick and tired of getting losing guys to injuries like this, man. And how, you know, just how injury prone this team is in general. Now I just got that out the way real quick. But <clears throat> again, on to the game. You, 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 you got San Diego. They came out and they just had one game plan. Just one game plan. Keep the ball in Philip Rivers' hands. Philip Rivers threw the ball over 60 times. As as much as much as I want to just attack the defense right now, I can't do it. Because they threw the ball 60 times. Philip Rivers dropped back the pass 60 plus times, man. There's only so much your defense is going to be able to do when a quarterback is dropping back the pass that many times. They didn't even try to establish any type of run game. They didn't want to run the ball. They wanted to pass that ball down the field, down our throats. And Philip Rivers, who's a very good quarterback, one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the NFL, in my opinion, was torching this secondary man. He was, he was torching us. Uh, the one guy, I forgot his name, had like 14 receptions. Ten of them came in the first, first quarter, I believe. We just, we just get, we got torched, guys. We just got absolutely torched in the passing game, man. You know, I talked about how we got to step up and stop, and stop the run game. Here, we just got completely buried when it came to passing. 60-plus pass attempts, over 40 completions, all are career highs, and San Diego Charger record, records, records for Phillip Rivers, and also a career high in passing with 500 yards. So now you understand why I'm not happy at all <laughs> that we got this win okay the only thing that makes this okay is because the fact that we got a w other than that this was just not a the game that you want to watch this is not a game that i want to go back and look at because when we play like this it makes me so nervous come playoff time because this is the type of this is the packer team we see when we get in the postseason once we get in the postseason this is this is how they play what you saw today is exactly how we play when we get in the postseason and we always get those one and done games and that's it, we're eliminated. That's what makes me so worried. We can we can play so well throughout the season and then as soon as we get in the postseason we play like this. So I know there's a lot of Packers fans out here who's gonna just shrug it off and say, Hey, the win's a win. Fuck that. We cannot play like this again. Period. I don't wanna ever see us playing like this again. Pass rush wasn't there. We couldn't get the rivers really at all until until late 
in the fourth quarter. And we got a couple of sacks on him. He was getting the ball out quick, throwing it here, throwing it there. Our corners and safeties just weren't doing a good job of coverage. It was bad. And as far as offensive side goes, we couldn't sustain drives after the first quarter. Uh, the run game wasn't really there. It was okay. It was there for the first quarter. Everything was okay in the first quarter. Then after the first quarter, everything just got really bad. As soon as Tom Montgomery went down, everything just went bad, man. At this point, uh, I'm going to say it, James Stark should just completely take over that starting running back job now. He's running the ball a lot more better than Eddie Lacy. He's getting inside the holes. He's finding lanes to run through better than, better than Eddie Lacy. He's doing everything better than Lacy right now, period. That big run he had was the longest of his career. Yeah, just, just have James Stark's carry the load, man. All right, period. He should just take over that starting running back job because Eddie Lacy is not getting it done. Maybe you can make the case that he probably is still trying to nurse that ankle back to health. I don't know what the hell it is, but the guy is not producing. He's not producing. So right now, we should just keep James Starks out there like we pretty much did all this game and just have him take over that starting running back job, period. And again, Tom Montgomery wins, goes down. So now we're even more thin at wide receiver, and that's even less weapons for Aaron Rodgers to throw the ball to. You know, Randall Cobb, James Jones, those guys weren't doing anything. They wasn't getting themselves open. Rodgers had nobody to throw the ball to, man. Nobody. And it sucks because, again, we got the best quarterback in the league on our team, and he has no weapons. Hardly. Can you imagine if Aaron Rodgers had an A.J. Green or a Calvin Johnson or a Dez Bryant to throw the ball to? You could say we had that majority and he goes down. So, man, so I'm not sure which was worse. The defense line with 500 yards passing or how badly we struggled on offense after the first quarter. I'm not sure which is worse. We should just be thankful that they're going into the bye week and hopefully, hopefully, we get a little more healthier in the next two weeks. In the next two weeks. Hopefully in the next two weeks, maybe Devontae Adams can come back. Maybe Eddie Lacy's ankle will feel better or something that he can better get it going. Maybe BJ Raji and Nick Perry can get back on defense to help out the help with the pass rush. I don't know. But I do not want to see this Packer team play like this again. I don't want to see it again. I don't want to see it again, and I sure as hell don't want to see it in the postseason. So, that's it. This, this, I mean, you can call this a recap, but this is more me just talking Packers, period, and just my, my disappointment with this game. So, we got the win. We're, we're still 6-0. We got the Broncos in two weeks. And I tell you something, Peyton Manning is not playing well. He's not playing good at all this season. He looks bad. But I tell you what, if we play like this, Oh, he's going to probably look the best he's looked in years if we come out and play like this again. So, we got to go into Denver and we got to bring it to his ass. Period. Alright? That's it. I'm out. Peace.